Hi, good afternoon, everyone. It has been a tough week for Dr. Donna. Um, and so I wanted to come and share a message with you to implore you to please to continue to be diligent um, about wearing your masks, about coming outdoors, about only shopping with, when things are essential. So I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, a few days ago, while I was at work, I was seeing a patient who at the time didn't have any symptoms. Um, and so I'm seeing the patient, I'm wearing my mask, protecting myself. And I find out that a member of her family is positive for COVID-19. We check my patient, um, she's positive for COVID-19. I'm in the room and now I have been exposed. That happened twice in this week. So when it happened the second time, I am an essential worker, I'm a doctor. So we usually, um, because I'm essential, we say you wait 48 hours. If you don't have any symptoms, then you need to come back to work because uh, we need to work. So I went to work today. I don't have any symptoms. I went to work today. Um, and after I got off work, I went to the grocery store and I brought some groceries uh, to my house. But here's the difference. And this is the story that I wanna share with you. The second time that I got exposed, um, to this virus, uh, knowing that this patient was positive and not having full protective equipment on, I decided that the risk was too high for my family. That because I was constantly seeing patients and because our numbers are increasing in Oakland, despite what you're hearing on the news, that we're seeing more patients who are testing positive, I decided to separate myself from my family because I don't want to get my kids sick and I don't want to get my husband sick. So I'm sacrificing um, so that I keep my family safe. So I'm living separate from my family currently. So today when I brought groceries, it was very different than what I'm used to. I kept, I stayed in the car. I had my daughter come to the trunk of the car. She picked up the groceries. Um, I waved to her from the car. I waved to my son from the car. They wanted a hug, but I couldn't hug them because mommy is high risk and I don't want to get my kids sick. So I waved to my children, did not hug my children, have not seen my children in three days. I'm not living with my children. So for all of you who are out here frolicking, who are not wearing masks, who are coming out and going to stores and going to places because you're tired of being in the house, I want you to think about people like me who are sacrificing our families and our family structure so that we can take care of you and your family members who are continuing to do things contrary to the mandates. So I'm begging you, I'm pleading you, with you, to please wear a mask when you go out, to please continue to social distance, to not gather together. We're not at the point where we can gather together because healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, all across this country, we are sacrificing so that we can take care of you and your family members. So please, for our sake, continue to wear a mask, only come out to shop if it's absolutely essential. When you do come out, social distance um, and just be careful. No parties, no gatherings. We're not ready for that yet. Remember, whenever you are going out, ask yourself, do I absolutely need to go out? If the answer is yes, protect yourself as you go out. But if the answer is no, please stay in. I don't know when I'm going to come back and reunite with my family. I don't know when I'm going to feel safe that I'm not putting my husband and my children at risk. I don't know, but I know that it's not now. So from Dr. Donna, 
I'm begging you and pleading with you to please stay vigilant, continue to fight. We are in social distancing, at least in the state of California, until the end of May. So please heed the word, heed the mandates, protect yourselves so that people like us can come home and feel safe with our families. God bless you. God bless us all. God bless my children and my husband. I love you. Mommy, we'll see you soon.